Sadly, my subscriber count went down to 257. It went down because it was at 259 and then went down to 257. So I'm sorry for the three that left. I'm sorry that my content wasn't that good. <laughs> but anyways, this was, these are my thoughts on Pop Quiz Hot Shot feature, um, uh, hosted by Brad Jones, which one, I love the cinema snob. He's freaking awesome. And honestly, when I heard that he was going to be part of a game show, like when I was watching like some old reviews and stuff like that, I'm like, that's, or some reviews and stuff that he was talking about, I'm like, that's freaking awesome. And then, like, Pop Quiz Hot Shot comes out, and it, well, at least that I saw him was Doug Walker, I'm like, okay, I thought um, Brad Jones was going to do this. Then they have the pilot on Channel Awesome, if you haven't checked it out, and I checked it out myself, and honestly, watching it, yeah, I see it's bad. The pilot show was bad, but also, I also see that they had to add some things to hammer it out a bit because one i think if they had the similar rule bit like the rules somewhat hammered out like they do now it probably would be a little bit better like in the <laughs> comparing the two because i do the sh the uh, I, at least i like the show i we put it on every once in a while when i'm working on stories and stuff but like before um the pilot with brad jones one thing that one thing that's cool about um, the regular show, the new sh the show now is when Doug or um, the uh, nostalgia critic does, um, they have a question and no one else can answer it. They have a thing where if you can make the cinema not if you can make the nostalgia critic laugh, you can then get a point. You can get them some points. So I'm like, okay, that's a pretty good thing. They didn't have that in um, Pop Quiz Hot Shot, which kind of lowers like, okay, well this question's just out the window. There you go. And also, I see that they edit they edit down the videos a lot. I'm pretty sure a lot now, unless they just have fewer questions. But they edit the because uh, the uh, Brad Jones one was like a half hour long, and the entire thing had no music playing. So I'm just like, well, this odd this actually makes it kind of more awkward, especially when no one understands a lot of things. Not to mention they kind of specifically aimed at 80s things instead of like how Nostalgia Critic does like movie like mostly movies. This one mostly aimed just at 80s and stuff like that, um, 80s questions, stuff like that, which honestly, I was looking, I'm like, I don't know any of these. <laughs> Other than probably the one MASH one, or the Pup Named Scooby-Doo, I don't remember, which I think that's 19, that's 90s, I think. But other than that, yeah, I was watching like, yeah, I don't know many of these. And yeah, I can see like some downsides to those things. But I do like, like in the, um, the next one, in Pop Quiz Hot Shot featured in the NC, the Nostalgia Critic. That one you see, they added the they added the music for one. They added the music to make it less awkward. They added a better uh, game things in the beginning other than the little fish things. So they all had a little dollar store fish, plastic fish for bread. <laughs> um, they had what were the other things? Other than Brett, they added a few new. Th they added a few things. Um, his music, the act, they had actually have some thought or put a lot more into the little thing, which I guess, yeah, it's the pilot, whatever, but still, they could have added, a, they could have done a little bit more. They, uh, the game, the beginning, beginning games, and what was after the beginning games? Having the questions a little more centered around movies and such, other than, because they were doing multiple things like um, t 80s toy. 80s the 90s toys and all that stuff and some other tv shows and i'm like okay this would probably probably would have done a lot better maybe around the 80s but now because okay i might sound like a millennium or some crap though mind you i remember from 90s to now um i still remember what dial-up sounds like on when so on the phone uh but yeah like i honestly would like to see Br Brad do it again like have a shot to do it again maybe have one ep have one of the new pop quiz hot shot have it as Brad doing it cuz he appears at least once for um uh, as a contestant which i believe he kicked, he beats the NC which is awesome if i remember correctly but seeing Brad seeing like Brad g g do it again i think would be pretty freaking cool also i want to see pop quiz hot shot link car again on there along with like I don't know, Spoonie or something. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but, yeah, like, people who say, like, the 
pilot uh, Brad Jones was like a terrible thing. I'll say, yeah, I can see where it went wrong, but I can also say where they then hammered out the finer details to make it better, to fix it, to make it work. Unlike, yeah, to make it work and stuff like that. Like the pilot, and it was just like, the pilot was just like, it felt kind of dead on arrival, if only because, not dead on arrival, no, because it had potential, but it just kind of fell flat because of all the things that it was messing with it. Honestly, I would love to see, um, I forgot the actress's name, and I'm, I'm, I'm was watching right now the uh, making of the Star Wars episode. Um... I honestly forgot her name. Fudge me. But the actress that's on the NC, how uh, she always... Tamara. How she always appears on there. Um, how she was Miss... Uh, not claustrophobic. Whatever it is. Whatever it is when someone gets kidnapped and they start liking their captor. That one. Uh, that was pretty funny. I liked that. It made it a little disturbing, but yeah, that's it's supposed to kind of feel a little disturbing because the character, because the contestants are supposed to be kidnapped. But that was funny. A general anesthetic stayed there. Um, they had the general, which was Doug's dad, in there at one point. Like that's pretty. That's pretty cool. They kind of minimalized it a little bit more. And also, I like how the spazzy cartoon. They add the spazzy cartoons now, but yeah that does kind of stink that brad didn't get like another shot at it with a little bit more things because i don't honestly i don't think uh brad was the problem with the pilot though my um, i don't know maybe brad didn't want to do it anymore but um i would definitely want to see him try it again that would, that'd be pretty cool and let me think what was it that was pretty cool and but i'd also wonder i think it'd probably be harder to make um he well, actually, I don't know. I don't know how hard it would be. Because NC looks like he's a lot easier to make laugh than Brad, but... I don't know. Or Doug. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this is just a quick little thing I wanted to say. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please check out all my other videos. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and we will. See you later.